no, I'm out of tune. What a tragedy. Welcome to an episode of Stuart Doesn't Want to Make This Video. We're out of tune. We got to get tuned up. It's miserable. Everybody hates it. We hate each other. So let's just, let's just do it. I have a whole other video for getting into alternate tunings. It's probably going to suck even worse than this one. But anyway, I'll put a link up there or in the description or whatever. This is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to tune up using an electronic tuner of some sort. You can also use your phone and use an app. There are plenty of free apps. It's gonna be a great time. I will discuss ways to tune without an electronic tuner at the end, but I highly, highly recommend. I'm going to insist you use an electronic tuner. I have a Snark clip-on tuner. As far as apps go, I know Guitar Tuna is good, good. I haven't really used it, but I'm sure there's a bunch. I will say this, if you are using your phone and an app, Make sure you are in a very quiet environment because even talking can confuse those. The clip-on tuners are great because you can make as much noise as you want. Look, ah, ah, oh, why isn't it turning on? Oh, there we go. Ah, ah, so much noise. I'm being dramatic. This is stupid. I See, I told you I didn't want to do this video. So now that you've got your tuner and you're all ready to go, let's learn the names of the strings. The string names are E, A, D, G, B and E. That is not what mine are currently tuned to. I am out of tune. Everybody knows the old chestnut. Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. It paints a beautiful classic picture of a person being blown apart and gore and flesh and blood everywhere. Uh, you can also make up your own if that one's too uh, intense for you. Look, I'm gonna make one up right now. I'm gonna say every accidental dinosaur gives bad Earaches. See, easy. Everybody can remember that. It's way more memorable than Eddie Ate Dynamite. Eddie who? I don't even know who this Eddie guy is. At this point in time, we need to put the tuner on the guitar or open your app and have it there ready to go. Now, one important thing. Your tuner may have different modes. It may have like a bass mode, a guitar mode, a chromatic mode. Make sure you are in either guitar mode or mood or chromatic mode. I'm just gonna recommend chromatic mode. This tuner, this Snark X tuner, chromatic mode is all it has. It doesn't have any other any other modes. If you're in like V mode, like violin mode, it's not gonna know how to tune your strings. Make sure you're in chromatic or guitar mode. It's crucial. Can you see it? You know, it's gonna be a little blurry. Let's play the top string and see what it says. It says E, that's good, right? That's good. Now you see how that middle, that green thing right in the middle is lit up. That means the string is in tune. That's that, uh, uh oh. It went a little, okay, we're good, we're good. That's in tune. We're just gonna go with it. When it says, start saying A, start saying crazy stuff, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're gonna, we're gonna move on to the next string, the A string. Every accidental dinosaur, accidental. All right, it says A, that's good, that's good, but it's like, it's got that red thing that's over to the left. What that means, if it's over to the left, on your tuner it might be red, it might be purple, I don't know. But if it's got a thing over to the left, then that means the string is too loose. It's too flat and you need to tighten it up. Something to keep in mind is your guitar is naturally going to go flat over time. So most of the time when you're tuning up, you're going to be doing just that tuning up. The strings are gonna be a little loose and you're just gonna need to tighten each one up a little bit, usually. Occasionally, if the weather is weird, the strings might go sharp on their own, their own from Canada. Is that, is that, is that racist? So you need to find the right tuner. It's crucial you, you, have, you have some patience and you make sure you're tuning the right tuner. We've all been there where we start turning the wrong one and we break strings, so patience. Patience is the name of the game. Okay, A string goes to this tuner right here. I'm gonna slowly tighten it up. I'm just gonna start turning it. I'm gonna play the string again. Oh, I think it's getting closer, closer to the middle. Oh, I'm gonna keep turn. Oh, I just kept turning it bit by bit. I kept playing the string. I'm not playing the string nonstop. I'm just like playing it. Play it again and get it right to the middle there. Okay, we got it. Now here's another important thing. As we start getting to the middle strings, it's gonna be easy to accidentally hit too many strings. The tuner gets very confused when you have multiple strings going. So before you switch strings, you always wanna just pat the strings, make sure none of them are vibrating, okay? All right, let's try this D string, the third string from the top and see what's what. Here we go. Make sure all the other strings are quiet. Playing the third string. 
It says D, it says D, that's good. But it's got that yellow thing over to the right. So it might, on yours it might be yellow, it might be red, it might be purquoise, I don't know. But it's all, it's just, if it's to the right, that means the string is too sharp, which means it's too tight and we need to loosen it. So I'm gonna find the tuner for that third string from the top and we're just gonna turn it down. It's gonna take a little bit of practice to get used to which way is tightening, which way is loosening. And I'm just going down. Getting closer. Now, here's a little advanced trick. See, I'm pretty much there. Here's what I recommend. Go a little bit too far down so it gets into the red and then tighten up to the note you want. The string will tend to stay in tune a little bit better if you always tune up to the right note. If your string is too tight, then tune it a little bit too far down and then back up to the note you want. And I think we did it, guys. We're right there with D, accidental dinosaur. Ah, uh, let's move to the G string, right? This is the third string from the bottom. Let's play this one, let's see what we got. Okay, we got bad news. Not only is the light not lined up in the middle, but it doesn't even say G, it says F. And it doesn't even say F, it says F sharp, which is a whole other thing that we'll worry about another time. But this means the note is so far out of tune that the tuner doesn't even know what note we're trying to play. It thinks we're trying to play an F sharp note. So you know how the alphabet works. It goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The musical alphabet also goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G uh, from lower to higher. So like B is higher than A, C is higher than B. This says F and we want it to, stupid glare. It says F, we want it to be G. So G is higher than F. So that means we want to tighten this note until the tuner says G. So I'm tightening it up a little bit. Oh, it says we're in tune, so we're good. No, it says we're in tune for an F sharp, which is not it. So I want to keep going up. So now it says I'm too sharp, but that's okay, because I want to get to the G. Oh, it says G. Did we do it? Did we do it? Not quite. Now we have to get the G actually in tune, where the thing is lined up in the middle. I'm going to keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. Oh, did we do it? I think we did it, guys. As you can see, when you are first learning to tune, it is a tedious process. Hey, I got a question for you. How often do you need to tune? Well, that depends. How often do you want to play in tune? <laughs> Oh, you gotta tune all the time. You gotta tune all the time. I, I recommend you just tune every time you play. You're gonna get fat. It's a skill just like anything else you have to practice and get better at. Let's go and do the last two strings. Ac every accidental dinosaur gives bad, I don't remember what it is, gives bad earaches. So it's the B string is what I'm trying to say. Second to bottom string is B. Let's see what the tuner says. Well, it says B right now, but I'm not even playing anything. You're gonna learn the tuner just gets confused. It thinks it's hearing things sometimes when it doesn't. As soon as you play the string, it goes, oh, sorry, I'll stop messing around and actually listen. So let's play the B string. Oh, well, that's perfectly in tune. I don't know if I, I think I was supposed to have that out of tune so we could fix it. Guys, this B string was a disaster. I never should have showed you the B string. Let's go down to the bottom one. This one's an E string. Let's see what it says. It says it's a little bit flat because it's got the red over to the left. Okay, let's see. I don't think it's getting any better. Why is it, I'm turning it. Why isn't it getting any better? Do you know why? Guys, I'm turning the wrong tuner. You're gonna, this, you're gonna, this is gonna happen to you. Now if I play my B string. Oh no, my B string's out of tune. It says it's a C, now I have to fix that one. Okay, now let's go back down to the bottom one. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure I'm on the right one. Here's a string, there's a string, there's a tuner. Great, I'm gonna tune that up. And there we go, the E string is in tune. Here's the worst part of the whole thing. After you tune, you gotta go through and, and check it one more time. Cause sometimes as you're adjusting the strings, some of the other strings will go out of tune just a little bit. Looks like we're in pretty good shape. And we're in tune, guys. We did it together. It only took forever to do it. I gotta tell you a couple other things. If you don't wanna use an electronic tuner, you don't have one, you don't wanna use an app, you don't wanna do anything like that, there are some other ways you can do it. One, you can tune to like a piano or a pitch pipe. This is quite a bit harder. So if you find, if you have a piano and you play an E note on the piano, then you play your E string. Those should match up. They don't sound exactly the same, but the pitch should line up. This takes a lot of practice to hear the difference and match up those pitches exactly, but here's the trick. What you wanna listen for is this 
pulsing sound. You're gonna hear, if it's out of tune, you're gonna hear this like wow, 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 pulsing sound. And as you get closer and closer to in tune, that pulsing sound is gonna slow down. And as you get further out of tune, the pulsing is gonna speed up. So if you're sort of out of tune, it'll go wow, 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 wow. And as you get closer, it goes wow, wow, wow. As then you get further away, it goes wow, 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 wow. And you wanna get it to line up exactly. It's a very subtle sound. I don't, I don't know, that wasn't helpful. I don't know why I said that. I just wanted to go wow, wow, wow. And then the other thing is there is this fifth fret trick on a guitar. This doesn't actually get your guitar in tune with the rest of the world, but it can get your guitar in tune with itself. And here's how it works. If you play the fifth fret on the top string and then play the second string from the top open, those notes should be the same. We just tuned, so that's the case. But if this string's out of tune, now listen to this. Oh, you can hear that they're different notes. And can you hear that pulsing? I don't know if you can hear it over the video, but it's going wow, wow, wow. And if I tune up a little bit, the pulsing is starting to slow down. Pulsing is very slow now. It's going wow, wow. And now they're, now they're pretty much there exactly. Couple things to look out for with this. One, you have to trust your ear for this, so that'll take some time to develop, so don't get too frustrated if this doesn't work for you at the beginning. The other thing is when you're playing the fifth fret, make sure you do not bend the string or push too hard. If you push too hard or bend the string, it's gonna make that first string that you're playing out of tune, so watch out for that. Now, you can do fifth fret for the top two strings, then for the next one, go to the fifth fret of the second string, then fifth fret of the next one, but then this is weird. Then you have to go to the fourth fret, and then for the bottom two, go back to the fifth fret. So it's fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. I know, that didn't make any sense. I did not explain that well, but just use a tuner, guys. That's it. I, just, I thought that I didn't want. I didn't want to do this. I didn't make it clear. I'm very disappointed with the whole situation.